A disaster is first and foremost a destruction of the built environment, but is secondarily and tertiarily a destruction of all those things that the built environment represents. The culture, the memory of the place, the economy of the place, that sort of thing. So the architect has a dual role before disaster, um, working to prevent it by the administration of building codes, smart building strategies, designing cities safely and well so that they're resistant and resilient to disaster. After disaster, an architect's role switches a little bit but plays on the same themes. So the architect after the disaster is working to recreate not just buildings in a safer way, but also to use those buildings to recreate all the things that were destroyed in the disaster, like culture and memory and economy. Water is one of the things that often gets missed in the context of a disaster. Um, through Most of us experience disaster through media imagery, and that media imagery tends to focus on the destruction of buildings and the suffering of uh, physical people and things like that. So part of the architect's job, part of the rebuilder's job, is actually to reconstitute this infrastructure in a safer way. Typically, our cities were built prior to our having sophisticated knowledge about how to administer and create a municipal water supply. So they're more vulnerable in many cases than the buildings that exist above them. So in the reconstruction effort, more attention has to be made how to maintain a sustainable water supply to feed the recovery as well as the ongoing sustainability of the city. In the old days, you know, we would have a city and then some sort of lake or aquifer from which all of the water was fed. Um, that presents a lot of risks in the event of a disaster should it become contaminated or damaged. So I think in the future, and looking 20 to 30 years into the future, we're going to look for a lot of our buildings to actually provide, clean, and recycle their own water, which inherently makes them more resilient to disaster. We have two metaphenomena on the planet Earth that we know are increasing, and that's climate change and urbanization. So as these two phenomena come together, we are creating the possibility and the inevitability of greater and more serious disasters. I think for a lot of us that are thinking, you know, 20, 30 years in the future, we anticipate that the next major global conflict could very well be over water. So understanding a changing climate and facing a dual threat of rising sea levels as well as droughts on inland areas, most of the developed world takes for granted um, this idea that there is water. Um, and we don't second guess it when we turn on the faucet and water comes out. Having lived and worked in many countries where that's not the case, um, where water can just as easily kill you as keep you alive, I think what we need to do is all collaborate in spreading awareness about how critical this is and the fact that you know, there are one to two billion people that live with water insecurity. And with the advancement of climate change, that condition is probably only going to get worse unless we focus our attention.